I'm Dr. Michelle Eckler. I'm the supervisor of secondary English language arts with the Waterbury Public Schools. And today I'm going to show you something that might be a little different next time you log into your Google Meet for your Google class. Um, today I'm going to show you what happens when your teacher has activated the waiting room feature in your, um, in your Google Meet. So here I am on my Google Classroom page and I'm going to actually enter the class that I need to get into right now. And then I'm going to click on the meeting link. And what's going to happen is instead of just being told I can join automatically, I'm actually going to have to ask to join the class. This is going to start happening in most of your classes across all of your um, content areas. So if you click on ask to join, it's going to show a little scrolly screen and it's going to say you'll join the call when someone lets you in. This is going to alert your teacher that you're waiting to get into the Google Meet. Now, as long as you belong in that class, the teacher will be able to admit you. So here you can see, it's gonna take a second for this to come up. But now I'm in the Google Classroom with my teacher. Now, if something happens and you try to get into a Google Meet that you shouldn't be in, the teacher can actually deny you access to that. And once you've been denied access, you won't be able to try to get back into it. So it's very important for you to make sure that you are trying to get into the correct Google Meets on a regular basis and that you actually belong in that class. I hope that you found this tip helpful and now that it helped you understand what it's going to look like when your teacher activates the waiting room. And I look forward to sharing more tips with you in the future.